Question B now asks, what was the height of the balloon if it was ascending at negative 10 meters per second? Now, if it was ascending, it means it was going upwards, which obviously means that upwards is in the negative direction, since according to the question, we assume downwards is positive, and therefore, the initial velocity is negative. So now, they just say that the, it was ascending at 10 meters per second, but in the upward direction. That's why it's negative. Okay. So if it was ascending, it means that the moment the bag was dropped, that bag first went up a little bit and then started falling down because it still had some upward momentum. It was heading in the upwards direction and as you know Newton's law says that an object in motion wants to stay in motion okay unless an external force acts on it and now gravitational uh, force is acting on it so um, it starts falling down to earth due to gravitational acceleration now our initial velocity is therefore different now instead of just be of dropping as in the previous question, then it has an upward velocity of 10 meters per second, which means our initial velocity change. And that must be negative 10 meters per second. The rest is exactly the same. We use the same formula. The only difference now would be is in our substitution. Now, instead of substituting uh, 10, we will sub uh, or zero, we will substitute negative 10 times eight plus a half times nine comma eight times eight squared and now our answer is 10 with a negative multiplied by 8 plus 1 over 2 times 9.8 times 8 squared 233 it was at 233,6 meters above the ground when it dropped the sandbag and traveled at 10 meters per second upwards.